Hey guys and welcome back! So today we are going to be watching Heartstopper Season 2 Episode 8 aka the Season 2 Finale Damn I'm so sad, I love this show so much and I'm so unhappy that I'm gonna have to wait over a year for new episodes like criminal I wish there were more episodes per season because this show is just so cute and sweet and I love it so much and it's always just such a huge serotonin boost when I watch an episode so yeah, it sucks that season 2 has come to an end, but my god, what a season it has been. I loved it so much and I cannot wait to see what they're going to do in the finale. Previous episode, of course, ended with poor Darcy leaving her home, so I'm wondering if she's like fully running away or maybe she's just getting out of there for a night. I don't know, but man, I feel so bad for her, like her mom. Dude, what a you know, insert a lot of bad words here. Like, how are you gonna do that to your own daughter? Like, how are you gonna be so mean? Man, I really, really feel bad for her. So yeah, I really hope she's gonna come to Tara and then talk to her about all of this. Like she needs to tell someone what's going on with her so that she can get some help in a sense, you know, just like also support, emotional support. I think this probably is the reason why she had such a hard time saying I love you to Tara. Like, I think it was more about the fact how much hate she gets from her mom. So maybe just, you know, her actually giving herself to someone else, to another girl, is scary for her. So yeah, that's really, really sad. But also that makes sense why she didn't want, you know, Tara coming over or meeting her mom. That would not go well, so... Yeah, I'm very, very curious to see what Darcy's gonna be doing this episode. But besides that, you know, Darcy's storyline being so tragic, the rest is going really well because this is gonna be the prom episode, I'm pretty sure, anyway. And I'm so excited because Charlie and Nick can go to it together and Nick asks Charlie out and, you know, Nick is kind of sort of out now to the whole school, so... I'm just so happy for them that they get to be a couple in public as well. So yes, I cannot wait to see them dance and just have fun and not care what anybody else thinks. I'm so excited. And yeah, I'm also just excited and nervous to hear what Elle is going to decide about going to the art school. I mean, I feel like she has to say yes, but then also somehow still managed to stay in the show and stay together with Tao. Like, let's just have her cake and eat it too right? And I'm also very excited for Isaac. I am loving his storyline so much, like him discovering his sexuality and, you know, getting to talk to that guy at the art show and knowing that he's not alone and there's nothing wrong with him. It's all so beautiful and I'm very, very excited to see what he's going to be up to this episode. So yeah, if you guys are interested, you can watch the full unedited reaction to this up on my Patreon. The link is going to be in the description down below. And let's just jump straight into it. You're kidding. Stop it. That is so cute. I'm bi, by the way. Actually, yeah, he says I'm bi, actually. I'm so proud of him. You, you are the best. Have you seen the comments? Are they good? Please tell me they're good. You guys look really cute. So, so happy for you, mate. Pick a side. Rude? Why was that the third thing I read? This is the best my life has ever been. I don't have to hide so my amazing cute. boyfriend anymore. I'm not getting bullied. Everything's perfect. I hate it. Why did you say that? How scared something's gonna go wrong. Oh god. Oh, that's so pretty. Perfect. I don't like the title. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda hate it. Do you wanna be my girlfriend? Was that a serious question? <laughs> yes. I thought she already was. Yes. I want to be your girlfriend. Why are you being weird Yay. about it? I'm not being weird, you're being weird. I love them so much. Oh god, where's Darcy? Where did she go? Let me fix it. <gasps> Tao! Wow, that's unfair. Something so cute. <laughs> that's unfair. His face. You should uh, invite him tonight. <gasps> No, yes. Right. Just tell him we need more chaperones. Yes, it's so good. I'm so happy. I'm sure Yusuf would appreciate getting to go to a prom with someone he loves or likes. Sorry, loves strong word. Someone he likes. Is it true you guys are going out? What's it to you? Yeah. I didn't know you were gay, Nick. He's bi, actually. Well, I think you guys look so cute together. I told you. I didn't believe you, you know. I said you were <laughs> Okay, that was kind of okay. Do you want to stop and get something to eat? Walk to the shop. Nick. Later. 
had a really late breakfast. Oh, that was pretty subtle of Nick, but he gleaned a lot of information from that response. And the comments. They're all idiots for assuming you're straight. And I'm including myself in that statement. <laughs> yeah, he was the biggest. Nick is straight, Charlie. Do not fancy him. First time back in season one. I know, I, th I think he's been finding all the attention. Like, a lot. Yeah, I get that. And the bullying. And all the things that happened to him in the past. They all really have affected him. Yeah, they really fucked him up. Still causes him a lot of pain. I don't know, do you think that's true? Poor Charlie. My dad died when I was 12, and I think a lot of the reason I get so freaked out about losing my friends and... Oh, he's got some abandonment issues. That makes sense. I, I didn't know about your dad. No, don't be weird about it. I'll try. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I love how much closer they've gotten this season. I really like this Nick and Tao friendship. Can you close your eyes? Why? Because I'm nervous you think I'll look weird. <laughs> Sweetie, don't be nervous. I'm not looking, but for the record, I think you always look cute. Oh, they're so cute. <gasps> Charlie, you look great. I love the tux with a little bow tie as well. That doesn't look bad. Sweetie, of course not. So good. <laughs> you look so good. Oh, so oh Nicholas is so much. A big public appearance as a couple, that's, that's definitely what we want. Yeah! Fuck me up, this is so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was real for a sec. Oh, hey Darcy. Have you been here all night and all day? <sighs> She's so fucking pretty. Hello. Hello, his little face. Where's Darcy? Oh, she's running late. Let's just go inside. Uh huh, sure. I'm so happy for them. Please let this go well. I can't believe Nick's showing off his boyfriend, but none of you managed to bring a girl. <laughs> uh, who's next? Oh, well. Was that supportive or mean? I can't tell. You're right, Nick. Oh, they're so cute. Sorry if we made you feel weird about telling us. <laughs> I can't believe Nick's the first hour of us in a relationship. <laughs> yeah, man. I could easily have a girlfriend any day now. <laughs> Thank God. Is Tara Jones single? He's gay. Everyone knows this. Come on, man. Whatever, man. Wait, I'm so happy they're supportive of him. Okay, I think overall it went pretty well, him coming out. Like, sure, there are the occasional troll online, but in real life, everything kind of went smoothly. Well, as smoothly as it could. I know something's wrong, but she never wants to talk about it. How do you talk to someone about something that they don't want to talk about? Great question, Tara. Let me know when you figure it out, because I have a similar situation going on. I'm going to go to Lambert. That's good. Hello. It's all okay, because he understands that he has abandonment issues and he's working on them. And it doesn't mean that it's the end of their relationship. Oh, I like that the Ace book is just front and center. I'm so happy for Isaac, like he's actually figuring out his sexuality. Oh, here we go! You came. Said you needed more chaperones. Yeah. That night in Paris, pretty stupid thing for us to do. Dude, obviously not. I was gonna suggest dinner and drinks next time. <gasps> oh, yes! He's into it! Next time. I'm so happy for these two! Is she not an ally after all? Maybe she is just bi? Or does she just want her friend back? <sighs> Fuck me up, man. Stop it! Can we leave? Why? Already? I'm not worried about people seeing us together. But why should they have to see? We've been so obsessed with the idea of coming out. It's like we've forgotten why we wanted to do it in the first place. It's not for them. I just want to have a fun night with you and our friends. Yeah, I want that too. Yeah, me too. David and my mum are out tonight, so I do have a free house. Oh my god, yes, let's go. Hey. Hey, oh, Darcy. Are you okay? Where's Tara? She went to find you. Oh god, oh god, no. Okay, here we go. She's gonna meet the mom. <laughs> I'm not nervous. Is she okay? And how would I know that? I don't know, 
out is you're her mom. She had another one of her tantrums last night. Over Wonder why. And you, your own mother can't tell you the truth about an outfit. Who can? She looked like a lesbian. She'll realize she was in the wrong, but she'll come straight back. Wait, so the mom doesn't know that she's a lesbian. If I find her, I'll ask her to let you know she's okay. Thanks then, bye. Fuck, she isn't actually out to her mom. That's crazy. I know it! <laughs> oh, I love these guys so much. You didn't feel as confident about being a lesbian as I did. And I wanted to be that person for you to help you through your journey. But you are oh that person. Oh my god. No, she isn't. <laughs> I'm not even out to my own parents. I don't think I ever will be. That's okay. Your safety is the most important thing. Sometimes my mum makes me hate myself. Fuck that woman so hard. You said I love you. But what if that person doesn't even exist? So... Of course she does. You were scared to say it back because you didn't really believe that I could love you. You, you've only ever seen half of my life. Fuck, dude, that's gonna make me cry. You, you've only ever seen half of my life. And now I've seen the other half. And I still love you. You Look sure? Her. I'm a literal disaster. Oh, I know. <laughs> I actually like how much of a disaster you are. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so in love with you. I just, I'm bad at saying it. Well, practice Yay. makes perfect. <sighs> I love them so much. I love you. 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 I love this show so much and these characters. You never told me about the bullying. Oh god. What that was like. But it's good. I'm glad Nick is trying to make him to talk about it. We didn't need to talk about that. You really do. Everything's fine now. Is everything fine? Not really, I don't think. Like, I know you like everything to be fine and happy and perfect all the time, but you don't have to be perfect with me. Yes, Nick. Saying the right things. I think it surprised me how homophobic people were. I thought things were better nowadays. Not really. People would just call me disgusting to my face. Jesus Christ. And it went on for so long that I think I started to believe what they were saying. Oh, that is so sad. Made me really hate myself. So much that I used to. Oh God, no, Charlie. I used to cut myself sometimes. Oh my God. I don't want to feel like that anymore. I'm so happy he has Nick now. Can you still do that now? No, I'm sorry. I swear to God, if he apologizes one more time. I just don't want to annoy you or burden you. Oh, Charlie, sweetie. But I've done so many things that were scary in the past few months because you were there holding my hand. God, I love them. And I want to be that for you too. Like, you're my boyfriend. I love it. I love that they keep saying it. I love your hair so much. <laughs> I really need He said it! Well, I mean, he hasn't said it, said it yet, but... I'll see you tomorrow. choose this song what do you mean i'm scared that this moment we shared won't happen again excuse me <gasps> oh that is so sweet but maybe say it to his face for the first time don't just text it right oh that's how they're ending the season oh my goodness what a season this has been i had so much fun this season two as well maybe this was even better than season one i think maybe i enjoyed it more i like that they actually focused a lot on the other characters as well like we really fleshed out all the side characters which i think is great i loved learning more about darcy and tara isaac i really love the journey isaac has been on this season i'm excited to see it continue into season three and just all these characters, they're so good. I love them all so much. And I love all of their journeys and everything that's happening. So I'm very excited to see what season three 
will provide us. I also love that we're really diving into Charlie's like mental health and everything he's been struggling with and going through. It's oh god so sad everything he had to go through but I'm so happy that he has Nick now who he can go to and trust and finally maybe ask for help as well. So I definitely would love to see an arc for Charlie next season where he actually goes to therapy. I think that would be so beneficial for him. So yeah, it's just cool to see that at least he has Nick, even if the therapy thing doesn't happen. At least he finally has someone in his life who actually forces him to talk about things and just stop feeling like he's a burden or annoying for talking to someone about his feelings. Like, my God, Charlie is such a sweet little kid, but sometimes you just want to like rail on him like, Charlie, ask for help. You are not a burden. People love you. You are not disgusting. Like, dude, I totally get like all the trauma he went through and why he is the way he is but it's just so sad to see you know it's just like oh god sweetie people love you and they want to help you and they want what's best for you and you can rely on them and you don't have to be perfect and fine all the time oh man that scene with him and nick was so good so well done so well acted and i'm just excited to see that continue in season three but yeah as i said this was a great season i enjoyed it so much and i'm very very excited for season three and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction thank you so much for watching and as always a huge huge shout goes out to all my patreons for supporting me Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.